In Montana's U.S. House and Senate contest, Republican candidates are emphasizing immigration and national security as key issues. Yesterday, MTN's Mike Dennison examined where the House candidates stand on these issues. Today, he looks at how these issues are playing out in Montana's high-profile Senate race, featuring, of course, Democrat John Tester and Republican Matt Rosendale. Republican challenger Matt Rosendale has been hitting Democratic incumbent John Tester hard on immigration policy, saying Tester is going against the wishes of Montanans. John Tester has also uh, supported sanctuary cities and open borders and amnesty. Having such a porous and insecure uh, southern border has an, an incredible cost both socially and economically, and I think John Tester has been a very big obstructionist. Tester says Rosendale's accusations have no relation to the truth. Once again, uh, he lives in a different universe and just makes up information as it fits his agenda. Tester notes that the Border Patrol's union endorsed him because he's tough on border security and believes in giving the patrol the resources they need. He also voted for a comprehensive immigration bill in 2013 that beefed up border security but also gave illegal immigrants a potential path to citizenship after they'd been here for at least 13 years. The bill passed the Senate, but not the House. Tester has voted three times against failed bills that aim to punish so-called sanctuary cities, but says he opposes sanctuaries for illegal immigrants. Every one of those bills that was put forth on sanctuary cities cut law enforcement, most of them cut law enforcement, or they cut economic development. If they want me to vote against sanctuary cities, don't cut local law enforcement. Don't cut the economic development, and I'll, and I'll support that bill. Rosendale notes that Tester has still opposed funding for President Trump's proposed wall on the southern border. I hear John saying these things, but he has not supported the president when, when the president is trying to get proper funding to secure our border. And that is where it all begins. We have to secure the border. Rosendale has come out strongly for building the wall arguing that without it and other strong border enforcement, illegal drug and human trafficking will continue. Montana is a long way from Mexico and the southern border, but I think we can say these issues will play a role in how some Montanans vote in this closely fought Senate contest. Reporting from Helena, Mike Dennison, MTN News. Libertarian Rick Breckenridge is also on the ballot in the U.S. Senate race. Well, you